It's just a wondrous place to be able to study and work and relax. It's, it's the whole experience. Just a stroll from the middle of campus. This is a college that is within a forest. The Evergreen State College has its own forest, even a beach. This is Gooey Duck Beach. The Gooey Duck is the college's mascot, but student Alex vassour landialt says you won't find any here anymore. The 3,000 foot long beach is open to the public who has not been the best stewards of the land. We're looking at probably five to 10 different species of shellfish here. People can harvest the shellfish here, but sometimes they take too many. So with state grant funding, Vassar Landialt looking for ways to protect this beach for current and future students looking for an on-campus escape. That means that we need to put up signs saying, hey, make sure you cook the shellfish so that way you don't get sick. But also, you know, how do we protect the shellfish enough so that their population doesn't deplete? We provide grants to local governments, to cities. We provide it to nonprofit organizations. State Lands Commissioner Hillary Franz says the half a million dollars in urban forestry grants have funded projects like the removal of invasive plants in Burien and a tree planting event in Tacoma in a neighborhood where the lack of trees can be felt during heat waves. Literally, heat death is one of the largest natural disasters, human disasters in our country. While we think of right now, how could we ever get so hot with the rain? We are getting hotter and we have communities that need that canopy. Commissioner Franz is asking lawmakers to increase that funding by millions of dollars to not only complete the work here at the college, but to start new programs all across the state. Everyone can benefit from this process beyond Evergreen. Vassar Landialt hopes the research will help restore Gooey Duck Beach and perhaps even return the gooey duck to it. That is still very much a possibility that we could have gooey duck living on this beach, um, helping to make this a nursery because yes, it is our mascot. Like it would be amazing to be able to come and show people, hey, this is what this looks like in real life. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.